take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of calm and relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow any feelings of worry, stress, or tension to feel like they're leaving your body in that outward breath. When you breathe in, breathe in deeper than you normally would. Feel your chest rise, the diaphragm expand, and feel a gentle release that is when you breathe out, you're giving permission to just let go. The deeper you breathe, the deeper relaxed you're becoming. And I wonder if you could use the power of your imagination to imagine a Greek island. Perhaps you could imagine the Greek island of Crete. Perhaps somewhere on that island you could imagine from above seeing an ancient labyrinth, a vast dark maze with high walls that seem to stretch endlessly. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine that you are somewhere lost in the maze. Imagine the air is cool and damp and the only sound is the distant drip of water echoing through the stone corridors. Imagine carrying a torch that casts flickering shadows on the walls, but the light of the torch only reaches so far, leaving much of the labyrinth in darkness. And yet, the anxiety that you could feel seems to be being replaced with a feeling of courage, a deep feeling that you are doing the right things in the right way. As you navigate the maze, feel the anxiety is subsiding and the courage, the bravery and the enthusiasm is growing. And you know that deep within the labyrinth dwells the Minotaur, a creature with the body of a man and the head of a bull. And maybe the Minotaur represents your fears, doubts, or just unaccepted parts of yourself. That the Minotaur is the embodiment, perhaps of everything you have avoided facing in your life. But to escape the labyrinth, you must confront the Minotaur. Running away or avoiding it will only keep you trapped in the maze. The labyrinth is not just a physical space, but a metaphor for your mind and life's challenges. The Minotaur is part of you, something you must accept 
to find your way out. Imagine walking deeper and deeper into the maze. And imagine finally encountering the Minotaur. Its presence is imposing. But instead of feeling terror or fear, you feel a strange sense of familiarity. The Minotaur is not here to destroy you. It is here to be acknowledged and understood. So take a deep breath in and just observe the Minotaur. Notice its features expressions. What emotions do you see in its eyes? Is it anger, sadness, or something else? And maybe recognize that these emotions could be reflections of your own inner struggles. So approach the Minotaur with an open heart. Acknowledge that it is a part of you. A manifestation of your fears and unresolved issues. And speak to it. Either out loud or in your mind. As you acknowledge you see the Minotaur. Perhaps you're saying, I see you. I accept you. You are a part of me. And ask the Minotaur what it represents. Listen to its response as it might tell you about your deepest fears crippling self-doubts or perhaps unfulfilled desires and maybe desires that aren't even your own. And understand that these aspects of yourself could have been locked away in a maze inside your mind just like the Minotaur has been locked away in the labyrinth. And what if you could integrate this part of the Minotaur by accepting it? The logical thing to do would be to kill the Minotaur or run away from the Minotaur. But instead, you embrace the Minotaur. And by accepting it, you integrate these parts of yourself into your whole being. Feel the strength and wisdom that comes from acknowledging and accepting all parts of who you are. And in doing so, you start to release. As you accept the Minotaur, the labyrinth begins to change. The walls that once confined you start to dissolve, revealing a path to the exit. With the Minotaur no longer a fearsome monster, but a part of you, the maze is no longer a trap no longer a prison. All of it, all of the walls, have dissolved and disappeared. And now 
there is no walls and maze, I want you to find a pleasant place. No dark labyrinth, but maybe beautiful nature on the island of Crete. And while you're there, open your mind to new ideas, suggestions, ways of thinking. As you accept that growth comes from releasing old identities and allowing new possibilities to unfold. That you effortlessly let go of limiting beliefs, clearing your mind for new and empowering thoughts. That you can embrace change with grace, knowing that it brings opportunities for growth and renewal. So clear your mind and free it from attachments to things that no longer bring you joy. No need to live in the past or lost in the realms of wishful thinking in the future. Give permission to yourself to live fully in the present moment letting go of past burdens that weigh you down as you find joy in the simple moments appreciating the beauty of the present any physical limitations or pain seem to lose their power over you the more you do things from a spirit of enthusiasm, passion, and joy. The more that you make progress and pursue those things that truly matter, the less pain, discomfort, or anything else seems to interfere with the quality of your life. And you can face obstacles with courage and determination, knowing that they are indeed opportunities for growth. And you welcome support from others on similar journeys, truly knowing and believing that together is better and if you need to use technology you feel that you can use it wisely enhancing your humanity and avoiding its misuse because at some level maybe a high level it isn't about you you find true strength in serving others, knowing that it truly brings deeper meaning to your life. And as you release the emotional attachment to pain, you allow more healing and comfort to flow through you. Because you are resilient and full of hope, believing in your ability to overcome any challenge. You embrace new beginnings with an open heart, ready to explore new possibilities. And just like in the maze, one dead end, one wrong turn means nothing. It just means that that was the wrong route and you intuitively change tact and find a new direction. You accept and adapt to changes in your life and you make mindful decisions guided by clarity and 
inner wisdom. It's been long overdue to release old identities, old parts that no longer serve you, and instead choose to step into your fullest potential. Trust in the journey of life, knowing that each step brings you closer to your true self. Action feels more powerful when it's inspired action, knowing that it frees up psychological and emotional resources. A place where you can find and in fact cultivate inner peace. By letting go of those attachments and letting go of any old beliefs, thoughts and feelings that don't move your life forward. And notice how with a mission enthusiasm and joy that you can age gracefully embracing each stage of life with acceptance and hope believing in your fullest potential knowing that letting go of old parts perhaps even a minotaur part brings new strengths, new strategies, and new acceptance. Feel that you are evolving, that you feel empowered and free, knowing that you have the ability and in fact destiny to just let go and move forward with confidence. So imagine that life in the near future. Through acceptance and release, imagine that evolved version of you with a breakthrough, launching forward, finding effortless ways to do what previously was difficult. I want you to say goodbye to that Minotaur, allowing the Minotaur to enjoy a life of relaxation in nature and beaches on the Greek island of Crete. As you decide It's time to return to the present. Returning with enthusiasm. Joy. Passion. And a newfound lease of life. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Connect fully with the present moment as I now count from 1 to 10 to awaken you starting to count 1, 2, 3, waking up 4, 5, 6 more alert 7, 8 open your eyes, open your eyes 9, 10, wide awake wide awake wide awake 